Welcome back to Poor Financial Decisions. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I have this diamond and pearl base set box. That Pokemon's in this set. That Pokemon, that Pokemon. Cherim. This is probably the worst decision I'll ever make. As it stands, everything here I don't know how many packs there is. I might have opened one of these already. Oh, I don't know what that is. Something in the bottom of the box. As it stands, there's five, eight. Five, eight. There's 18 packs here. I don't even know what this set's called. Space Time Creation? No. I honestly forgot. Who cares? These packs are fat. They're way fatter than Eevee Heroes. I've just opened Eevee Heroes. That was okay. I know, I've got two alt arts. Pretty happy with that. Can't be sad. Now we're opening. I think these packs are around 90 to to $100 each. Oh my god. Rosa Raid. There's a buyer out there for that, I guess. Beautiful Eye. Is that Rosa Raid? That's Rosa Raid. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. This is Roselia. That's Rosa Reed. Okay, okay. Mistrevious. Oh, that's a nice Meryl. Is this space-time creation? No. Bonds till the end of time? Surely not. I sold that Meryl recently. PSA 10 for $160. Electivire. Oh, low punny. So it seems like this set has a lot of Ken Sugimori stock artwork. Which is not ideal. That is not good. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Ken Sugimori. I think I'll, obviously, yeah, he's started everything and all the above, but they're kind of mid. They're just like the Pokemon on like a random background. Like, I mean, Fukuda's got like the trees and Saito's got like the trees in the background. It seems similar, but it's not. Look at Pretty bad print line down the middle of that card. Very uninspiring. Just like a random picture of trees. And, like, and the Sheeta. She's like covered in the ground with the marrow and everything. Cleffa unknown. So I think on average I'm receiving maybe $1 per pack. Bidoof. Maybe I'll grade some Bidoofs. Oh, that's nice. I don't even know that artist, but he's, that's really good. But I'm looking to amp up my PSA supply this year. I kind of want to just grade as many random things as possible and just have as much as I humanly can. That's the idea. I think um, I kind of like... Oh, that's really nice. I'm trying to move away from just going pure for profit, and I want to have some fun. I want to test the boundaries, and I'll probably even lose a bunch of money, but you know, the past few years have just been so unreal. So, I mean, we have space. If we don't make the best decisions financially, we have space. Chat on. Look at it. It's got like a music for its face. Is that its idea? Is it like a music, a music note Pokemon? Very nice. Pip Flop. Now, I'm kind of just breezing through these because I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Empoleon, Diamond and Pearl is just one of those things. That's a nice Electabuzz. These cards are not that well scented. I just kind of got destroyed on a submission. I think I had like a 50% PSA 10 rate on cards just like this. Actually, look at the bottom of these ones. These are not great. Edge where they're. Edge where they're. Oh man. Oh, Torterra Level X. That's very cool. Like Kid. Chimchar. I mean, there's people out there that like these Pokemon, surely. Skunk Tank. I should be sleeving all these. I just sold this. Silly. 
This is nice, ghastly dark skull. That's what we want. Oh man, you cheeked up. Wow. I have another diamond and pearl box that I will open. Because I'm never going to sell them. So they're kind of just like sitting in my shelf. Just wasting. Wasting time. I hate the idea of selling packs. Like loose packs. I'm just going to get scammed and then I'll just get angry. But... This pack did not open well. Magnazone. That's the Snorlax I'm looking for. That's actually quite a hard Snorlax to find because it's an uncommon. So we only got one. So far. I sold that Snorlax for $200 PSA 10 last week. It's kind of what tempted me to open these. I was like, oh, I can get more of that Snorlax, but it doesn't seem that easy. Three uncommons. This is a lot of them. I think if I can get away with one more level X. Is this Bonds to the End of Time? I think it might be. Maybe. Binary, cute. Mistrievous. Okay. Meryl, another one. Oh, look at that. Fat boy, Bill Barrel. That's the me. That's what I look like on the other side of this camera. If I hit the reverse on this camera right now, you guys would be disgusted and you would turn off the screen. Riperial. Oh, that is some pretty bad CGI. That's a cool Clefairy. So, I'm probably... Oh, is that a Drifloon? Uncommon? Okay. Drifloon on the come up. Usually the baby Pokemon gen, like the first... Whatever they're called, basic... Don't usually get that slot. Oh wow, Midori Harada, of course, right? Look at that. Snow, Footprints. And then we go Himeno. Footprints, Snow, Trees, Awesome. Rhyhorn. And then Nishida. And then Fukuda with the C Dot Gang. And oh, Saito with the hip Hippo Down. They're, just, they're, just, they're, they're OGs, and then... You just get, like, Ken Sugimori, and, like, I mean, I guess he designed a bunch of the Pokemon, but he probably should have stayed away from cards. I mean, look at he's just got Lucario just standing there. It's like, okay. Congratulations. Any Snorlaxes? Oh, is that a Rhydon? Uncommon. Okay. Now, you're probably thinking, why are you grading these junk uncommons and uncommons? Well, I think that's what we're shifting towards. There's a lot of competition on the easy stuff, and I don't really enjoy competing with people. So I just want to do my own thing. Oh, that's the best rare in the set, this Gengar. I shouldn't slam it with my finger, but... we got a Magneton and a Heracross. But yeah, this is awesome rare. So... Let's leave that up. Let's hope the condition of these cards really holds up. I'll have to go through them later on. But, you know, you can get a very wide variety of issues with these cards. It's not like every card's just instantly packed fresh. It doesn't... I mean, these... I, I think this is like a 15-year-old box. That's wild that I'm opening this. I just wasted that all in one 10-minute period, but... I mean, it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll grade all these. I'll put them in all one big submission, then I'll get back, like, my Diamond and Pearl submission. I haven't been too good with uh, making videos lately. I've just been really busy, and my dog passed away and I've just been really sad, so you know. This is just what this is just what it is. Sleeve all these bad boys. Little sleeve trick. Okay, well, it's not a trick, but it's like a tip. Put the card in like that and then adjust it. So the card doesn't scrape against the side. It's hard, it's hard to explain, but you don't want because the corner of the sleeves are quite sharp. So you never really want to apply force to the card. Because it can chip it and it can cause edge wear. So I'll show you with this blue energy card what not to do. So you don't want to like, you don't want to grind the sleeve up against this. I don't know if that's caused any damage. But you know, if there is an existing issue with chipping already, it could catch on to it. And that would be really bad. And then obviously when you're 
sliding it in here, you don't want to like you don't want to chip it. So when you, when you put it in, you just I just separate the sleeve with my fingers, slide it in like that, and then adjust it, and just lightly, gently push it down. You don't want to push it down too hard. And then when you want to get a card out of the sleeve, you just just lightly push it up, and then hold it, and then you just get it out. You never want to like push it upwards or push it down. You just want to. You never really want to push it all, really. Like I'm pulling it down with this hand here. I'm kind of like just putting force down. I mean, I was taking a card out and putting a card into a sleeve. Not very good advice, but that's just what I do. And I probably should do this on like another video. But yeah, this is what we got from 18 packs. I mean, a bunch of hollows. It's really nice to get a hollow every time. So I'll probably just grade all of these. I mean, I probably could have just purchased these for very low prices. But these are mine. I opened these. We've got a level X, Torterra. I don't really know who created this Pokemon, but there's just a giant turtle with a tree on its back. It's pretty fucking sweet. And that's it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.